Hey everybody, Brett from Star Gaming here, back with another episode of our Total War Room 2 Let's Play, where this will more than likely be our final episode. Uh, between episodes, I went ahead and advanced the turn, and during said uh, advancement, the Sumerians took over Pontus's last province, and so Pontus is now just a standing army somewhere. And then this faction rebelled against Pontus as well, and so Pontus has like literally nothing. They're just a roaming army. Um, so our goal today is going to be to hunt them down and finish them off. And so to that end, we're going to start marching our armies into uh, Sumerian territory here. And hopefully we can find them. Let's force march these guys all the way in. So I imagine they're somewhere in this vicinity. But we won't know until we... Um, trespassing, they're like my... Wow, that's all they've got, huh? So, yeah, we're going to try to hunt this army down and put an end to Pontus. And aside from that, I don't really know what else we've got going on. Let's take a look. So, the Civil War thing is still kind of looming on the horizon. It's still low, which means we probably won't see one for a while. Um, our war target was invalidated because they took it over. And let's see, the wife of the magistrate. Show so, we decided to investigate further rather than just um, assuming that the young general was guilty of the sexual assault or whatever it was and it had turned out that the woman who had accused him uh, was trying to seduce him and then was spurned by him and so uh, her husband eventually cast her out and whatever so we got some influence for not uh, being too overzealous and jumping to conclusions on that one. Let's see, we got some constructions done. Got some recruits finished. Kalnerd, a new faction. Let's see who that is. Oh, that's these guys way over here. Which, uh, can we even trade with them? Where did they start with? Like an A or something? That would be up here. Oh, right there. First one. They really don't like me, and we can't trade with them, so that's a no. What about you guys? They are 50-50, but we can't trade with them anyways, so we'll leave that one alone. Uh, what else do we have going on? We were building up an army, but we currently do not have access to the Cretan archers that we were going to complete the army with. So for now, I think we're going to throw some helot archers in there. Because it's going to be at least five more turns until we see Cretan archers. Well, at least six, because I it's, assume it's going to take at least a turn to recruit them. So, we may not get to that point. But uh, we'll fill them in with Helot archers in the meantime. And then, let's see, we actually had another army on the move, didn't we? There they are. Let's get you up to here. Come on, you can do it. Right there. Sure, just get wherever you can go and we've got a lot of stuff being built there so we don't really need to worry about any further building for now let's see they've got plenty of food but very little public order actually negative public order so hopefully this can turn that around Antioch is looking good except for the food that's gonna make the food even worse auxiliary Syrian archers that's kinda tempting let's let's do that it's gonna make that situation even worse but We've got plenty of food surplus, so I think we'll be just fine. Uh, they're looking good there. Same province, or same... Yeah, province, I guess. And you guys are looking good. Looking good, looking good. Okay. How about you guys? Looking, pre looking pretty good there as well. Um, yeah, we're doing good. Just about everywhere, really. I think we've got almost everything built that our current technology will allow with the exception of these because we just don't really have any use for that upgrade right now. And then, oh, you know what? It's going to be even longer than that because we've got five turns on the technology. We still need to build this upgrade, which will be another eight. So more likely we're not going to see any Cretan archers today. But uh, if the Civil War happens during the episode, we'll continue to play until we quell the Civil War. So there is that. Um, let's go ahead and advance then. I don't see much else to do this turn. So, it looks like the Celtic Confederation wants peace. They wanted money, 
or they wanted to give me money, that is, for the piece to go through, but I would rather make them a client state. And so we're gonna try that. And it looks like they're willing to accept, so we'll just go ahead and run this. And so now we are only at war with, really, Pontus and then whoever the hell these guys are. I don't think we've ever met them yet. They're down here. Yeah, so we have no idea who they are, really. But, um, yeah, we're just at war with Pontus and them and then, you know, the slave rebellions and whatever. Okay, so... Singedun, where the hell is that? Oh, they're starting to... Oh, good, they aren't at war anymore, because we are you know, allies after all. Um, my master will offer his mighty prayers for your good fortune if you can find troops to attack this port. It wants me to capture Malva within the next eight turns, and I get 500 gold, which is pennies to me at this point. But we'll look into it. So these guys are... I'm not sure why that's happening. The garrison is abandoning their post. They have adequate food, plenty of public order, and we certainly have enough money to pay them, so I don't know why that happened. Construction report, quite a few things finished there. Armenia, there's people pissed off because we sort of just abandoned this settlement. I suppose uh, it doesn't look like anybody's going to be able to retake it from me, so I'll just go ahead and fix it up. It'll give me something to spend my money on. Which at this point, I think we have like infinite money. We have like 90,000 gold, and we're making another 16 every turn. So I would be very hard pressed to spend all that, even if I tried. Uh, Mesopotamia, okay. Arachosia, who the hell are you? Wow, they are way over there. They're like the easternmost thing on the map. Parthava and Persia. We'll look at them in just a second. There's our peace negotiated. Province contested. Who? Where? Oh. Did we raise that? We might have raised that. That might be why that happened. I think I burned it to the ground and so nobody had it for a while. Because I definitely wasn't in control of it. At any point. At least not that I'm aware of. Okay. So let's... Oh, there's another army right there actually. Let's get you guys off of Force March, and you're going to go kill them off. Wow, that is very one-sided. I guess we'll go with a balanced stance. So that's one Pontus army down, one to go. The other one's going to be slightly stronger, but still zero threat to us. Karan also gained a rank there. Uh, what do we want to take him up to... How about some zeal? And he can actually levy troops right now, but they don't have any good ones, so we'll pass on that. And then Kirillos, you can finish off this army. Oops, wrong button. Oh, they're going to flee, huh? I don't think they liked them trespassing, but I thought we had military access. I guess I was wrong. And that should be the end of Pontus, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think they have any other armies floating around. Okay, so you guys are about done. I'm going to put them into Force March and have them head back across the border so these guys don't absolutely hate me. And let's see, you can start heading back, I guess. If we do get a civil war, it'll. I think it spawns in the capital, so... We probably want our armies in that general area, in case that does happen. Uh, you guys still have some movement as well, from the look of it. Yeah, you do. Okay. Let's do the same thing then. And... Right. What else do we got going on? You guys are all done. We'll probably keep them right around here just in case actually I'll put them in Sparta and then this army oh let's get you guys armored all the way up cool you're still doing your job that's perfect what about you yep alright so we finished some buildings in a couple different provinces so let's take a look and make sure 
everything is still maxed out. It sure looks that way. How about turkey? That one is good. Ah, we can take this farm up. Do we need to, though? Yeah, it wouldn't hurt. Although that one is being upgraded currently. So, that's going to cost, what, public order, probably? Let's do this one as well. We'll do these all at once. So, these are going to dock us a little bit of public order, I think. I think that one's squalor. Yeah, squalor, and these are squalor as well. So, we'll get a bunch of food from this, and then this should help even out that public order hit that we take. Everything else is looking pretty solid. They've got way more food than they need, but this is going to offset that a little bit and give us some public order public order in return, which is exactly what we need. And this is going to hit the food a little bit as well. And then you guys look to be pretty solid too. Okay. I think that's going to be it. So one more turn on these until they get fixed up. And yeah, I think that's going to do it. Okay, so it looks like a few of our other allies decided to finally make peace. The Daco Thracian Confederation is one of our client states to the north, and Egypt is one of our military allies, so it's good that they finally settled their differences. Uh, Pontus has been completely destroyed, just as I thought. Got a couple more buildings finished there that we'll take a look at in just a second. Okay, so we don't really care about any of that. Um, right, so everything here looks to be more or less done. Uh, we'll move our armies just a second. Here we go. So, let's see. Public order could use a boost. And I guess we'll do them both because they'll kind of offset each other. But they're going to produce more than they take. So we should get a net gain of both. Over here, I think we will... We've already got the sacred grove, so we don't need any kind of consecrated ground in this spot. I think instead we'll go with an... Actually, we don't have any kind of military building here. Let's throw down a muster field. And then I suppose we will go with a... Actually, scrap that. Let's do outskirts. And yeah, we'll do a muster field. And then I'm going to do a public forum there. What else do we have here? Okay, that's one more turn. That one's fully upgraded, fully upgraded. Fully upgraded. That looks to be fully upgraded as well. That one is in the process of being. And... Alright, oh you guys are part of that one. I believe everything in our main empire is fully upgraded as well. Keep checking though, just to be sure. Yeah, it sure looks that way. Cool. So let's get those armies moved, and then we'll go ahead and advance again. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like we're moving fast enough to uh, to see those Cretan archers before we end this, but we'll, we'll do our best. How far can he move? Oh, right there. Okay, you're up next. Go there. And let's see. You can't get very far, can you? Oh, they're not on Force March, though. That's why. Oh, maybe they were. Okay. And we'll get you up here as well. And I think that's going to do it for this turn. Uh, I've got my fingers crossed that maybe something will happen in the next one, but... Let's see... Our Civil War chance is only at about 25, maybe 30%, if you call that the middle. So yeah, I mean, it's possible, but not likely. Okay, so I guess they canceled that mission. I don't know where... Oh, it wanted me to take Malva? I forgot that Malva was part of their... They were trying to get me to attack my own client state. That's kind of interesting. Uh, our noble ranked up. Medea Atropatine. Where the hell is that? Interesting. Where did they spring up out of? Well, either way. Let's see. So you guys are at war with great. Just great. Okay. So we've got war on our northern border. Um, Pannonia has a surplus. We'll spend that in a second. More upgrades are done. 
some alliances happening. Armenia is still pissed, but that's understandable. And right, we don't care about the rest. Okay, so Armenia, let's see about you guys. Get that upgraded. That's about all we can do there. Um, interesting. So these guys, this new faction, is at war with the Horde. So we'll see if they're able to expand out at all. Uh, meanwhile, our client state over here is also at war with them. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea, but these guys right here are. Although they don't really share any borders with them, so I don't know what their plan was. Unless... I don't think they hold that, so... Yeah, fairly certain that they don't share any borders. So, again, I don't think they're going to be able to do anything. Let's upgrade that, and we'll put down an aqueduct to... Actually... I could probably use food more than... Well, I don't really have any other buildings that can do food, so... We'll keep boosting the public order to offset this because this is going to give us food and cost public orders, so when we finally take that up to the max level, it's obviously going to cost us a little bit. And so we'll have buildings to offset that cost, since we can't supplement it. You got to level up. Uh, let's see, civil administration, yes. Okay. Let's get these armies moved again, and I think we'll have time for one more turn. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to be seeing a civil war today, so I'll probably just end the series, at least for the time being, on this episode, uh, because I think this is a fairly decent place to stop. We have our borders pretty well secured at this point. We conquered everything we set out to conquer, and even a little bit more than that on accident. Um, so I think, you know, we've kind of conquered or done everything we set out to do and so I'd like to free up some space for some non total war stuff on the channel but as always if you guys would like me to continue um, just you know let me know in the comments and if enough people make their opinions known then I will happily continue the series but otherwise I think this is gonna be about as natural stopping point as we're gonna see and so I think I'll just go ahead and take advantage of that Let's see, wow, a lot of uh, pieces being negotiated there. Who is destroyed? I don't know who those guys are. Um, anyways, I thought for a second there that we might have some interesting developments with the war that was happening here, but then I saw that the, the horde up here is basically just getting eaten up by all these little provinces, so these guys, the Apuli, just grabbed another province of theirs. And then over here, it looks like... I thought, yeah, you guys are currently sieging that and may or may not succeed. Either way, there's probably going to be a rebellion there fairly soon. And so where I thought we might get dragged into a big war with this horde here, it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. They're down to about a single... Like, one, one province and one province that's currently being sieged, I think. Yeah. So they're not nearly as powerful as they were, like, two turns ago. And so that's kind of a letdown, but I sort of saw that coming. Um, what else do we have going on before we end this? Uh, construction... I guess it really doesn't matter. Faction destroyed Bactria. I'm not sure who that was either. But we encountered some more factions. Let's see who they are. Um, let's see, that was one of them. They're way, way down there in Africa. And who else? I think that was the other one. Yeah, we saw them already. I just, I guess we hadn't encountered them yet. I thought we did, though. Oh, well. And let's see, they're currently... I guess more or less allies with these guys yeah so I think the horde has seen its last days and unfortunately I think this series has as well I'm gonna go ahead and break off the episode right here again if you'd like to see more Total War Rome 2 let me know in the comments I'd be happy to continue but otherwise we're gonna free this slot up for some non Total War stuff which I'll probably be discussing in another video I'll talk about um, some of the series I decided to uh, play or do or whatever 
based on your guys' comments on another video I posted. And so we're kind of going to go over, you know, what those choices were and why I chose them. And I'll kind of thank you guys, uh, especially the people who suggested the games that we'll be playing, but everybody because everybody contributed and I got a lot more feedback than I was expecting. So that's always awesome. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to share my videos however you guys see fit, and I will see you guys back here for my next Let's Play series.